Hello everybody, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Today, we will start a new topic. The title of this discussion is Nonlinear Regression Modeling. We have discussed couple of you know models relating to linear regression modeling. We started with you know simple regression modeling that to with a linearity structure, then we have discussed multiple regression modeling with more number of you know independent variables, again that to with a linear structure and uh, we have discussed or we, we have acquainted with the system um, that is related to estimation process, then the kind of you know uh, reliability check starting with specification test, goodness of fit test, then all kinds of you know diagnostics uh, again starting with multicollinearity issue, autocorrelation issue, heterostaticity issue, then uh, uh, you know model misspecification. So, uh, technically we have gone through all these details so far as model building is concerned and then the empirical testings where we are connecting with a engineering theory and that to connecting with the data as per the variables requirement and then we have gone through the uh, linearity models and the kind of you know uh, reliability check process starting with you know specification to diagnostics and that to with the out of sample prediction test. So, we have gone through all these details and uh, then we like to know you know how decision making process will be with respect to the theory, the empirical testings and that to what the data tells about this particular you know problems and how the uh, estimated outcomes uh, you know behaves that to whether the estimated outcome which is derived through the empirical process that to as per the choice of the linearity model and the kind of you know availability of data and uh, the idea is that to have the estimated output and then compare with the existing theory whether it is the it is supportive or it is going against the theory. Uh, so, all kinds of you know discussion uh, we, we have already. So, that means technically if you go through this you know uh, contents. So, we start with you know introductions to the basic about the engineering econometrics, exploring data and uh, uh, knowing the use of you know spreadsheet and software to dealing to understand the data, data visualization then starting with descriptive econometrics and the linear regression modeling then modeling diagnostic one model like modeling diagnostic two and then we are in this you know structure what we call as you know nonlinear regression modeling. Uh, technically uh, whether the model I uh, means modeling structure is the linear one or the nonlinear ones or whether it is a time series structures or penal data structure or it is kind of you know, discrete structure. So, every aspect the process of empirical testing is more or less same. Uh, wh what is the kind of you know, requirement? You must have engineering theory and it, after understanding the engineering th theory or problems you have to transfer into you know models that too you have to develop a model where all kinds of you know variables will be identified to analyze this particular theory and then we we like to gather information behind all these variables uh, relating to cross sectional specification time series specification pool specification panel specification and then we have uh, we have gone through the kind of you know, empirical process where using model you know model and data we will have estimated output and then we will go through all kinds of you know uh, check process and uh, finally declaring that the modeling is good enough to do the kind of you know uh, you know forecasting or as per the decision you know management decision making process is concerned. So, this means uh, here what we like to do we follow the similar kind of you know structure, but here the framework will be a nonlinear setup 
of course, we have gone through slightly nonlinear setup earlier by highlighting different functional form and uh, that too in the case of you know misspecification uh, inspection and here we will follow the same route and then we like to elaborate the modeling structure in a kind of you know elaborative way uh, by using various nonlinearity uh, non structure and uh, what we can you know do here so we start with actually a, you know a simple one then uh, you know com, you know uh, integrating with you know complex one and to understand the you know you know uh, structure of the nonlinearity we can start with the uh, dummy modeling first because dummy modeling has a kind of you know cluster of the uh, you know I means it is a kind of you know mixture setup where we have a linearity structure and as well as a nonlinearity structure. The model itself has a give, you know giving a different kind of you know, uh, 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 you know structure where you can actually understand the uh, nonlinear structure and the similar kind of you know problem can be compared with the linearity structure with the various you know uh, restructuring process. Uh, Let us start with first slightly about the dummy modeling, then we will move to the various functionality or in you know, a various forms of you know nonlinear regression modeling. So, let us see what is all about the particular you know process. Uh, so, the process will be, so let me start uh, the kind of you know, okay. uh, so the process will be uh, here is the dummy dummy variable regression modeling then we will go to the other forms of in nonlinear models uh, we can actually go through details uh, uh, what i can, uh, can say the classification of you know multiple regression modeling that to linear versus nonlinear and uh, you know with, with respect to various forms in the first instance the classification uh, uh, will be like this linear and nonlinear and uh, then in the linear setup we have uh, we have in fact the a simple linear structure which we have already discussed then by using the domain variable structures and then there is a structure of interactive effect and that too it is with respect to linear setup by using simply y with x then y with you know domain variable set d and then uh, 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 the interactions uh, may be y with the x d and d x the kind the item d x will be the interactive effect. Uh, for instance, uh, predicting you know cricket score uh, then you know the linear setup may be with respect to number of bets batsmen you know scoring contribution to the total score and uh, dummy variables will be used. Uh, in the sense you know uh, 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 whether there is a kind of you know no or you know wide or not uh, no wide like that and then uh, interaction effect that is with respect to both the variables uh, batsman score and the kind of you know no wide options that uh, that will be the interactive or in fact you know you can cause you know use the a, a you know partnership contribution to the a total score uh, can be an interactive effect. So, this will be a you know you know uh, means the problem will be like that only and in the nonlinear setup. So, we have various forms starting with the polynomial regression in the form of square root log logarithmic format reciprocal format and exponential format. Uh, again little bit we have discussed earlier while you know addressing the misspecification that too with respect to typical functional form. So, the requirement may be nonlinear and if we start with the linearity and go ahead with the estimation process and forecasting process. So, we will find you know some kind of you know specification bias because of you know choosing the wrong functional form. So, that is why we have slightly discussed all these you know other forms of you know linear you know modeling that to in a kind of non-linear non format. So, let us uh, move uh, with this is uh, that you know how we can uh, do the kind of you know uh, structuring. Uh, so, what we can do here 
uh, we will start little bit you know discussing the concept of you know dummy molding then we will discuss the concept of you know nonlinear mo molding that to with respect to the use of you know dummy structure and then non dummy structure that to with you know respect to various functional form. Uh, by the way first question is you know first understanding must be with respect to dummy. Uh, dummy is a kind of you know proxy variables or it is a kind of you know uh, we can uh, in a use like you know uh, or you can call as you know categorical variables uh, which initially may be in the form of you know qualitative in nature and then through some kind of you know uh, kind of you know structuring and restructuring we specify the model in a quantitative format ultimately we need actually quantitative informations about the variable to do the uh, you know estimation that to by get by obtaining the, means, uh, obtaining the regression output through a particular software uh, and for that uh, if you put you know categorical or qualitative variables like let us say gender then the uh, answer will be simply male and female. So, if uh, if we will write male and female in the excel sheet then the software cannot run even manually you cannot actually do the processing because ultimately we need actually some kind of you know mathematical operation like you know summations then you know uh, uh, you know cross product summation dot product summations in this kind of you know situation so variables in information should be actually numeric in nature that means uh, you know it it should be in a quantity format so that we can do the operation and finally have the a kind of you know summation uh, uh, to know the values of the parameters and then go through the kind of you know uh, uh, reliability test or diagnostic test etcetera. And uh, that is our first understanding is the kind of you know dummy understanding and technically uh, so we have two variables altogether uh, in the regression framework that is two dependent variables say y and independent variables say x. So, in the x sides uh, the variables you know may be dummy uh, means say may be you know one dummy or two dummy dummy with actually uh, other independent variables dummy without other independent variables and again uh, uh, the dependent variable can be also categorical and dummy in nature for instance you know yes no type of things you know for instance uh, uh, people having bank account uh, depends up means the, if the problem will be what are the factors having actually you know uh, bank account of a household. So, it is mostly because uh, I means the problem will be like you know to understand the financial inclusion plan. So, one of the uh, you know variables information will be whether people have account or not uh, not having account and for that what are the variable responsible. And uh, in that case, uh, uh, your you know dependent variables definitely will be categorical. And if people have a bank account, then we can say yes. And people have no bank account, they can go for you know no. So then, the further transformation to do the processing or testing. So the yes situation can be represented as a one, and by default no situation will be represented by zero, or vice versa can also true. So, uh, so, some of the examples we have written here like you know uh, male female uh, and uh, uh, you know like you know uh, uh, various forms, various states, various cities and religions and then the kind of you know, uh, you know different uh, qualifications like you know B tech, M tech or some kind of you know, literate, unlit, uh, illiterate kind of you know things. So, every time so the first uh, you know requirement is you know you properly name this particular you know categorical variables understand the particular categorical variable and then you specify the coding and then uh, you transfer the qualitative information into coding that to representing the same variables with the help of you know quantitative information. So, now uh, if it is a question of you know gender then the classification will be male female if male will be coded as a 0, female may be coded as a 1 and vice versa can also true. Uh, similarly, you know Indian, non-Indian, so then uh, the, this can be classified with you know 0, 1 again. 
So, uh, every time uh, the kind of you know, transformations uh, you can do by either with you know 0 1 or 1 2 3 something like that. For instance, if it is a gender then one way to go for that you know classification is 0 1 or 1 2 and uh, if it is a religion. So, then depending upon the number of religions and that to uh, in involves with you know particular sample. So, you can put you know different kind of you know coding 1, 2, 3, 4 depending upon the number of religions which you have in the data set and then we will do uh, the empirical processing in order to check you know whether religion is having an impact with any dependent variable. If religion have impact then what religion uh, uh, you know what kind of you know impact with respect to different religions. So, how will you do all these things? So, we can get to know from this you know uh, modeling and that to pro in this lecture assumes only intercept is different and slopes are con, con, constant across the categories and the dom, dom, number of domain variables that are you know included uh, you know in this particular you know say you know uh, uh, genders can be ones but depending upon the problems and the requirement so it can be more than that for instance in a particular you know problems you may ask for you know religion impact, gender impact, literacy impact. So, these are all actually can be used or can be restructured the process with you know different dummies. So, every dummy has a different kind of you know specification and representation. For gender then the dummy description will be different or it can be used like that 0 1 or you know 1 2 something in that format. And then for religions depending upon this particular you know uh, number of religions you can code accordingly and you like to know whether religion is having impact and if it, there is impact which religion having you know high impact or which religion having actually low impact. So, all these details can be you know analyzed through the dummy modeling and then uh, interactive effective can be uh, used for instance. Uh, uh, a if you have a two dummies say gender and you know uh, uh, you know say religions then the interactive effect will be in a particular religions how the gender impact will be there. So, that means D 1 D 2 and with you know uh, let us say D 1 is Hindu then uh, under Hindu some you know sample we like to check how many are male and female. Similarly, uh, let us say another religion Muslim. So, you have to check the gender impact again. So, male female. So, so the first dummy will be religion and uh, uh, first of all you identify how many religions are there in the sample. Then for every religions, so we have one dummy and then uh, again for that religions, so the specification will be D1 uh, um, another kind of you know dummy with the specification of you know male female. So, then uh, so, D 1 and D 2 can be clogged. So, this will be interactive effect. So, that means the interpretation will be uh, the impact of you know Hindu male and Hindu female. So, that is the interactive effect through which you can actually a, a regress again with you know dependent variables. So, oh, means dummy variable will uh, have a th this kind of you know advantage to create a nonlinear structure. So, when we are you know uh, 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 you know addressing the interactive effect like you know uh, you know whether you know uh, let us say income is a dependent variable and then uh, whether you know Hindu male uh, has a high contribution or Hindu female has a high contributions again whether Muslim male has a high contribution or uh, uh, you know Muslim female has a high contribution towards you know income. So, uh, these are the things we can actually easily check and uh, that to uh, in this kind of you know situation. So, uh, we can use the interactive kind of you know structure. The moment we uh, integrate interactive effect to the dependent variable, then by default that model can be one form of you know nonlinear regression modeling. That is simple way of you know uh, starting the nonlinear regression modeling that to with the use of you know a dummy variable. So, uh, uh, the idea uh, uh, is uh, exactly like this. So, let us see uh, you know one one after another example. So, like you know uh, say religion and gender against another way of you know addressing this particular nonlinear modeling is you know uh, gender with you know uh, you know marital status. So, that means uh, here uh, gender having actually two levels of you know classifications. So, male and female. 
So, for that uh, you know say uh, what we can say uh, we have actually male 1 and uh, female 1. So, in this case so male can be represented as a 1 and female can be represented as a, a 0. So, it can be treated as you know d 1 say this is the domain variable d 1 and your models may be equal to y equal to say alpha plus uh, you know uh, d 1 delta 1 d 1 ok delta 1 d 1 plus delta 2 d 2 plus error terms ok. So, this this will be the kind of you know uh, models and this first d 1 will be represented as a gender and second d 2 will be represented as a marital status and then we can create a third dummy. So, let us say delta 3 then d 1 d 2 that is the interactive effect and then the error term here. So, we can remove this error term here then this could be a nonlinear models. So, now in this case you have a marital status. So, married sing is you know that could be single and divorce and then uh, you know uh, uh, married. So, uh, we can put actually 0 1 2 or simply uh, called as you know uh, whether actually a, 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 you know say married or you know say unmarried or uh, uh, singles we can say then uh, in that case the classification will be like that. So, again so what is happening uh, uh, you know say uh, uh, means the kind of you know you are staying alone. So, you will be staying alone when you are not married and uh, uh, if you are married and with you know uh, divorce then this will be one case. So, now we have two uh, two situations if married then you, you will stay together this is one level and if you are in a singles either you are not married or you know say divorce. So, you are st again staying uh, in a single. So, with you know in that case it will be like you know family with the two members here the family with the one member. So, family with the two members and whether male and female. So, again single with male or female. So, that then you will add this will be kind of you know interactive effect. So, likewise you know various forms of you know uh, interactive effect can be uh, you know used and can be checked. Uh, so, it is all actually once you know the simple structure of you know modeling. So, uh, uh, introducing dummy and uh, bringing the interactive uh, effect uh, that to represent the, the nonlinear regression modeling, it is very easy because you know just you add a particular you know variables and then uh, uh, with the specification of dummy and for that you know theoretically it should be uh, you know connected uh, or it should be well addressed otherwise there is a high chance of you know misspecification and without objective specific objective and the kind of you know specific requirement you should not use the dummy and that to transfer the simple model into the a kind of you know nonlinear models. In order to understand you know you know little bit more you know elaborative way uh, let us uh, having an example here. So, this is the this is a kind of you know estimated model here and here the estimated model will be y y head equal to b 0 plus b 2 x 2 and uh, uh, in fact uh, here uh, the uh, y is the dependent variables uh, which is actually is a salary of a kind of you know college uh, you know uh, student and then uh, 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 what are the factors which can be responsible for that and we uh, there may be many factors which can be responsible for that, but we are interested here to know the actually gender impact. So, then uh, uh, you simply actually start with here dependent variables y that is actually salary of you know all these student, you know, students those who are you know uh, in job after the college and then we are checking whether actually gender has an impact. So, that means, uh, which particular group is having high average income after the college education and they are in the job. So, for that you know you simply represent the model like this y equal to and then uh, you know say b 0 plus b 2 uh, uh, we can either put x 2 or you can simply put actually d 2 that represents the dummy. And uh, here uh, the data structure will be y with you know say cross cross sectional data with you know different uh, you know uh, students uh, you know salary after the college educations 
and then we like to just ask you know uh, the candidate uh, whether you are in job and if so what is your you know salary so you represent the salary level here and in the same times you just you know collect whether uh, the particular you know sample or the particular respondent is male or female if it is male so you write male and uh, and if it is a female then you can write female and male can be coded into the zero and by default female can be coded as a one so then we can regress y with d so initially you have one variables and then finally uh, with gender as a uh, you know uh, gender can be added a particular variable then we can study the impact and again so in order to understand further so this is uh, the, uh, uh, you know uh, for understanding further means it's the kind of you know interactive effect so for that what you can do we we'll add another dummy variable but in the meantime let us uh, see here how is the particular structure so when we start with you know dependent variable with a simple dummy in that two male and female so the model transformation will be having two parts so now since it's a question of male and female so if male is coding as a zero by by default female will code in one so in that case so d2 will be ranging from zero to one so after having the estimated model so you just put you know x2 equal to zero and x2 equal to one in one instance when putting x2 equal to zero say so then the model will be restricted to simply y head equal to b0 only okay then uh, uh, by default when you are putting x2 equal to 1 that is the female representation then in that case x2 uh, x2 will be 1 then y will be b0 plus b2 b2 because b2 into 1 is you know the result will be b2 so now oh, oh, y head equal to b0 which uh, where the case you know uh, male representation that means the average income will be b0 and in the case of you know uh, female the average income will be average income will be a b0 plus b2 so that's the kind of you know uh, female uh, female income and uh, what is happening here uh, the difference is actually b2 and uh, that means technically uh, let's say let's say in the estimation process we are having b0 say uh, let's say 20000 right and let's say b1 equal to say uh, 15000 so that means technically so y head that's you know average salary equal to 20000 and that to for the uh, you know male candidates and then female candidate case the average salary will be b0 plus b2 that means technically 20000 plus 18000 so that means take uh, means uh, 15000 here so it should be 35000 so now uh, after you know the kind of you know calculation you can say that you know the female uh, uh, average salary will be higher than the male salary uh, where the difference will be 15000 now uh, in this uh, you know kind of in hypothetical examples so female salary is much higher than male salary but uh, in reality the situation may be opposite if you take the actual data and you know do the kind of an estimation process and in that case suppose you know actual data uh, or actual model saying that you know male income should be higher even if this model is correct so in that case the particular coefficient may be coming negative so if the coefficient will be coming negative then by default uh, you know if y uh, y head equal to b0 that's where you know average salary of male group is 20000 and in the in other case the female income will be 20000 minus 15000 that means you know 5000 so uh, so uh, you know whether actually you know male uh, contribution or male sal average salary will be high or female average salary will be high so uh, uh, that uh, that will not ex exclusively depends upon the you know on the kind of you know, classification which you have made here zero for male and one for female so if you change the order actually uh, you know one for male and zero for female so again the uh, the theory or the kind of you know uh, empirical testing will not actually deviate too much so actually if it is a, a, you know a male is high then by default uh, if you start with a zero Oh, 0 for male and 1 for female 
then actually B0 whatever B0 value will get that may be positive, but you know the you know female component uh, that is for B1 will be negative. And if you change the order and if the theory says that you know male average salary will be high, then by default uh, uh, the you know coefficients both B0 and B1 will be positive. So, in that case female average salary will be 20,000 and male salary average salary will be 20,000 plus 15,000 that will be 35,000. So, likewise you know different ways of you know uh, kind of you know interpretation. So, with this you know we can actually have a kind of you know structure, but uh, the same structure which you can actually go for you know uh, comparison by other techniques. So, that means you know uh, uh, what we have done we have actually globe these samples. For instance, uh, a, 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 we have here uh, average salary you know and this is I specifications. So, first we are just cal collecting the data of you know 20 you know uh, candidates out of which you know let us say uh, 8 will be female and you know 12 will be male. So, now uh, the uh, use of dummy means using dummy. So, we globe the data and then uh, dependent variable will be represented as a, a salary and then whether male has a high impact or female has a high impact or whether the difference between male female will be positive or negative. So, that would be a you know a use or you know analyze through you know introducing dummy. So, where dummy will be qualitative and can be represented male female depending upon the samples and then regress and we will find out the answers which we have already discussed uh, here. And uh, another way of you know checking the particular you know difference is it through a simple one way ANOVA. So, in that case the entire sample can be divided into two parts. So, that means average salary of male and average salary of you know female. So, first 12 data will be here and then 8 data will be here. So, you can go ahead with the you know ANOVA test uh, where you know while using one way ANOVA not necessarily the data requirement is balanced data it may be unbalanced data or if required you can actually do the balancing by removing the additional data points or by bootstrapping you can uh, you know normalize the data and use the uh, have the balanced data and that balanced data can be used to you know uh, do the comparisons and say whether the difference between male female will be significant one or uh, not significant one. Suppose there is no difference at all then by default the in the in the case of you know uh, say uh, uh, in the case of you know say uh, dummy molding if there is no difference then the beta 2 coefficient will be coming 0. So, if that is the case then by default the male female uh, you know uh, salary structure average salary structure will be more or less same. So, if you, there is a difference then beta 2 will not uh, beta 2 means coefficient of beta 2 will not 0. If not 0 it may be positive it may be negative if it per, if it is positive then uh, it has a uh, you know high uh, uh, you know male will be high salary than female or female has a high salary than male and if there is no difference the coefficient will be simply zero and that we can find out here also through anova so that means uh, a dummy variable is a interesting uh, uh, you know uh, structure or technique through which you can uh, identify similar you know or you know uh, get similar kind of you know uh, results or similar kind of you know inference depending upon the kind of you know uh, engineering problems. So, in most of the engineering kind of you know structures, so we have a kind of you know gender issue or something like that and that can be addressed through this particular dummy molding and uh, again uh, uh, for uh, add, adding to the nonlinearity, you can add another dummy variables which you have already discussed like you know uh, religion and genders and then merit, uh, marital status with you know genders. So, these are the different levels of you know uh, starting with linearity and uh, transferring into the nonlinearity as per the requirement and by the way we can get to know the uh, you know flow of you know nonlinearity. So, uh, this is one level of you know addressing nonlinearity structure by the use of you know dummy molding. So, we have more extension on dummy molding and we have also different types of you know nonlinear regression molding which we will discuss uh, in the next class and with this we will stop here. Thank you very much. Thank you.